Go to police. Hello everyone. Oh, fantastic. We have 100%. Welcome to this. Um, well, they're not actually making us safer. And this guy's about to actually tell us about what's this uh, demonstration all about. Uh, they're not making us safe. They don't make us safer. And uh, about total policing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yesterday at Farnborough, which is this giant uh, airbase. Uh, 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 basically an arms fair for the police started, the okay. police around the world started and it's called uh, Security and Police in 2012 and it's basically Britain exporting repression, that's literally what it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of different groups have come together, groups like people angry that they're exporting, you know, for instance Heckler and Cocker ex exhibiting. Okay. Heckler and Cock weapons were used in Mexico by the by uh, the police and paramilitary units mm -hmm. that ended up disappearing the 43 students. And so we've got someone from a Mexican group here to talk about that. We've got someone that was tortured in Bahrain, uh, who's going to be here in a bit. Uh, they're going to be talking about uh, you know their experience of that and how Britain has armed Bahrain and armed uh, when the Saudis crushed the Arab Spring uprising. They used British. Uh, you know, armoured cars to get across the road to do that, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're. Uh, but but then there's there's also issues here, like for instance, a water cannon in London. The police is perpetually asking for more powers, more surveillance. Mm -hmm. There's issues around uh, immigration and detention. How that's a huge business, and that the companies there are profiteering from immigration and detention. For instance, the fencing industry has exploded recently because of the migration crisis, because uh, it's been used to enforce borders. And then at the end of the day, there's issues that really strike home here, like deaths in custody, like if you look at the stop and search statistics, you know who's gonna get shot if we arm the police, and it's not gonna be white men like me. <laughs> uh, how, what do you say to uh, the point that, okay, in, in the European Union has actually said that um, they're not going to be uh, exporting arms to uh, Saudi Arabia. That's actually been ab uh, abolished or it's made illegal. But in this country, Cameron is just saying, "Oh, our uh, our rules a lot are very very strict." Yeah. And for some reason, Saudi yeah. Arabia is still allowed to. Well, yeah. they use it. They're they're the ones supplying arms to uh, and yeah. <laughs> killing people in, yeah. in in the Middle East. The planes. West Asia. In Yemen, the planes, the bombs, they're all British. Okay. They're all British-made planes. There is actually a British army unit mm -hmm. out there supporting, you know, Saudi no, no. Arabia. Well, they, they say they're training them, you know, they just yeah, say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're not doing the cooking, they're, though, are they? They're observers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think uh, pretty much those planes need British engineers to function. Okay. Without those British engineers, those planes very rapidly stop functioning. Okay, so uh, how do you say... What do you say to those people who say that at well, least it, uh, it's... Uh, British jobs for British people? Uh, the thing is, is that uh, if you look at how much the arms trade is, su arms trade is subsidies, mm -hmm. subsidised per job in the UK. It's nearly a billion now, isn't it? <laughs> it's about £13,000 a year. If you give me £13,000 tax-free, I'll be out of your hair. I'll be gone. Okay. You know, no problems. You know, uh, those jobs in the arms trade, for one job we're creating in the arms trade, we could create you know, ten jobs in the renewable in the renewable trade. There's so much better ways to create jobs, mm -hmm. and so much better things that we could do with that subsidy and that money. And just to go back quickly to your point about Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, I'd really recommend everyone checks out uh, a Tumblr called Rigorous Repetition. Campaigning as arms trade uh, have this Tumblr, and basically every single time the government are questioned about their arms purchases, they uh, they sit there and we go, we have very rigorous arms controls whilst obviously continuing to flog arms wherever they want to yeah so uh, check out rigorous repetition it really shows just the the depth and breadth of this lie that we have arms controls we don't our arms trade is out of control okay thank you so much okay guys this is actually uh, ob occupying this network and i'm outside the uh, home office so we'll be here for a while come down just near tube station is uh, westminster and st james park thank you you can watching i'll be back shortly thank you